Great. Thank you for those questions. Um, all right. So for our last activity together, we're going to ask everyone if they can try to make a hat with materials that are in arm's reach, which can be broadly interpreted. If you need to get up, you're welcome to grab something. But we really want you all to try making something with just what you have at hand. Um, when you're done, you can type a sentence in the chat describing your hat. Um, as you're making your hat, if you'd like to engage in this activity, Ken is going to be demoing how Tinkercad can be used in impact. And he's going to be showing um, designing a dice for somebody who's visually impaired and somebody who's not to use together. So if you have any ideas um, for features that he might put on his dice, you're welcome to put those in the chat um, and you can help influence his dice. Um, well, okay, we already have ideas on our hats. <laughs> But Phil has. I just wanted to show this really fun thing that I just designed the other day. Um, I don't know if y'all. I, I won't. I won't give away the answer. But if you know about these types of mathematical objects, um, they're really fun to design in Tinkercad now. Um, but now we can just also. You can be designing hats, and we can design a um, a three D die together. Uh, kind of as a group design project. People are really fast at making their hats. See the Thanks chat. for playing along, everyone. So Anybody have ideas things. for Ken's dice? Maybe we need to design a project around making hats. <laughs> I think so. This is amazing. Right. <laughs> I love the pillbox hat and the turban. And something out of post-its, how fun. <laughs> Your dice rolled in Tinkercad, Ken. Can you tell people how you did that? Because it was very cool. Yeah, so I, I just discovered this the other day. So you can take any, any object um, and you know, we can, I'm, it's, it works better if you rotate it a little bit so that the physics works. You can't really throw it. Um, but then there's this, there's a simulation lab that's pretty new to Tinkercad. And um, it takes a little bit to load, but when you play the simulation, it will automatically drop, the gravity takes hold. So we can, what we could do, so if we have some ideas for how to design a die, right, you could, they could actually, I mean, if we're trusting their physics that the Autodesk has created, um, you could just roll your, roll the dice in on screen. Wow. Super cool. So it looks like Ken is making a hole. Couldn't add art to the cubes. Laura, I'm not sure what you mean um, about adding art to the cubes, like dots on a dice. Yes, you could do that. Definitely. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know if Tinkercad works offline. Yeah, I don't know. That is a good question. So you could add dots. It does not, Sophia tells us. That's too bad. Yeah. Um, it's really too bad. And Laura, you asked about art. You can add any of these shapes onto your cube. You also can use the scribble tool and like do a drawing and make that instantly 3D if you wanted to do some kind of stylized numbers or something by hand, which is pretty cool. There's the scribble. Mm -hmm. And then you get to do whatever you want. Okay, Frank tells us that students can convert school logos from JPEG to SVG and add that artwork to the cube. That's very cool. I think we saw that in that one example with the boxes where some students did that. 
Uh, and we have a in our, if you go to our website, we actually have a, um, a online resource that that gives all the steps to it. I guess we put all this. We put a wave on there. Very cool. Now that's indented on there. Hmm. Then the idea of adding the art. Then we can roll the die. And as you can imagine, well, I now I'm starting to wonder about the actual physics. Like, do they actually, are the cutouts, I don't know if this is actually going to be a good physics, a really good physics simulation. It's already a good physics simulation, but how good is it? Um, it's a question. Mm. Come back next year and I'll, we'll have an answer as to how how good the physics simulation is of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bigger the cube, the less movement. Yeah, interesting. All right, we're gonna go on to our very last activity. This is your- Oh, uh, and there's one thing I wanted to mention before we go is we did have a mystery word for the um, hat making activity. And the mystery word was flower. And I think the only entry I saw was Chris's who, um, made a flower in his or her design. Oh, I love it. Okay, great. So you will, oh, and the person with the name Einstein on here also made a flower. So we will get uh, to touch okay. with both of you and get you a prize. Um, thank you.